Carol's story is important today because she was there with the people who still get called the big dogs. She was there at the moment when the big bang of what the modern gaming industry was happened. And she was their equal and in many ways better. Carol Shaw is one of the first female video game designers and programmers. I was born in 1955, right here in Palo Alto. My parents encouraged me to do math and science. The girls weren't expected to be good at math. She went directly from college to work for Atari. I was hired to write games for the Atari 2600. And so this is Polo. My first game, I didn't have any previous experience. Yeah, I played some games, and they just put you to work designing a game. <laughs> At that time, one person would do the whole game, coding, the graphics, the sound, the gameplay, user interface, everything. One remark by Ray Kassar, the president of Atari, said, oh, finally we've got a, a woman a game designer. You know, she can do interior decorating and cosmetic color matching games. <laughs> River Raid, designed by Carol Shaw for Activision. She created River Raid. In some ways, its simplicity was its gift and the reason why people loved it so much. And the beauty of Carol's code, the background was actually almost non-repeating. When women are in technology, often their roles are understated, but women have always been there at the top level. Here's tangible proof that there was a woman who was involved in this industry and played a fairly significant role, especially with the success of River Raid. That's really important to remember. So this is a platinum cartridge in recognition of sales in excess of one million units. But yeah, a lot of people have told me that they like my game. So it wasn't successful just because it was a port of a arcade game, you know, it was successful because it was something that I designed and that's something I'm proud of. Please welcome your industry icon, Carol Shaw. Well, thank you very much. This is a great honor, and it's always nice to have one's work recognized. And I'd like to thank Lisa Ann and James for doing that uh, outstanding video of my life. And, and uh, I just wish uh, my father had lived to see this. And, my mom was really thrilled to hear about this also, and so uh, I'd also like to thank my husband, uh, Ralph, he's in the audience, so. Uh -huh. and I'd also like to thank the uh, other game designers at Atari and Activision for their uh, valuable feedback and contributing to the success of the games, and, and uh, the video games have really uh, progressed since when I was working on them 35 years ago. You know, the first thing I noticed is the graphics have gotten a lot better, <laughs> a lot more detailed, and yeah. But the classic games are still fun to play. You know, just look at the re-releases, uh, yeah. 
They've re-released the classic game consoles. You can still buy them, and people still have fun playing the classic games. And, and uh, you can still write a game yourself for uh, uh, the uh, app stores for the iPhones or the Androids and be an independent game developer. Or you can join a gigantic crew, and it's like producing a movie. You can produce a, an elaborate game like some of the ones we've been seeing tonight. And you know, there are a lot of opportunities today in game development. So, uh, and there's augmented reality and virtual reality. I mean, it's amazing what's happened in the last 35 years in the game business since when I was doing it. So, uh, so thanks a lot for this honor, and, and thank you. <laughs> <laughs>